In a bold statement, former Attorney General Sir Michael Ellis accuses the BBC of being institutionally anti-Semitic and biased in its reporting on the Gaza conflict. Tonight, we delve into the controversy surrounding the BBC's coverage and its impact on diplomatic efforts and community tensions. Join us as we dissect the explosive claims made by Sir Michael Ellis, exploring the specific incident that triggered the debate and the potential repercussions on the international stage. Has the BBC's reporting truly fueled anti-Semitism and harmed diplomatic efforts? Let's dive into the details. Sir Michael Ellis contends that the BBC's impartiality has been compromised, specifically in its coverage of Israel and Hamas. He argues that the corporation's reporting on the Gaza conflict is not only biased, but has also contributed to the rise of anti-Semitism and disrupted diplomatic initiatives. The focal point of the debate revolves around an incident at the Al-Ali Arab Hospital. Initially reported by the BBC as an Israeli airstrike, it was later corrected to be a failed rocket launch by the terrorist group Islamic Jihad. How did this error impact diplomatic relations, and what role did it play in President Joe Biden's peace summit decision? The BBC, defending its position, rejects Sir Michael's claims entirely, asserting that the opinion is not supported by the facts. How does the BBC justify its reporting, and what implications might this have on its credibility and public trust? As President Biden expresses hope for a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas, the timing is crucial. Are the negotiators truly close to an agreement, or do significant gaps still need to be bridged? How does this impact the complex web of international relations in the Middle East? In the ever-evolving landscape of global media and international relations, the BBC finds itself under scrutiny. Have its actions truly fueled anti-Semitism and harmed diplomatic efforts, as Sir Michael Ellis claims? Share your thoughts in the comments below, give us a thumbs up if you found this exploration informative, and subscribe to stay tuned for more in-depth analyses. That's a wrap for today's video from AU News, keeping you informed on the issues that matter.